In addition to Amazon and ClickBank, Commission Junction is another affiliate network that has been set up by default to be used with this plugin, although you will not be able to connect to the API system for Commission Junction. You will need to retrieve the site ID for your Commission Junction account. This will be entered in as your affiliate ID in the plugin settings. This ensures that you will get credit for any sales that you refer. The next thing you will want to do is to go into the website and generate the HTML link for a product that you want to promote. I'm just going to choose one of my existing vendors here and I'm going to pick an ad. I'm going to pick something here that I can use as an example to promote. And there are two different numbers here that you need to pay attention to. The first number is the site ID that we were just using. The other one represents the product that you want to promote. This is the A ID, which is also listed at the top of that page. You will need to create product information for your advertisement, just like I have done with the ClickBank ad previously. This product information is optional, but it will allow you to show extra text or whatever you want to tell your website visitors about the product that you're promoting. You can create a single field or you can create multiple fields. I will just keep it short and sweet for this example. After your product information is done, you'll want to go create a new ad. This ad controls all of the settings and it also connects your style and your product information together. Enter in the product ID. The image URL with Commission Junction can be used directly. You'll want to copy it straight from the HTML code. This gives Commission Junction a way to track impressions and clicks as well as provide you with a picture for the product. Provide the rest of the information for the product ad and you can preview it at the bottom of the page to see what it'll look like. This is just a basic example and as you can see it goes directly to the affiliate website. Once you're done with the ad, save it, and then you can insert it into the system just like any other ad.